How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with another video, and with this one, we'll be talking about actually a really good film and something that I would honestly recommend to a lot, a lot of people. This is probably one of my favorite suspense horror type movies, um, and it is Secret Window. It was released in 2004, um, directed by David Coop, written, by the way, based on the novel, written by Stephen King and David Cobit. Um, starring, just to name a few people, Johnny Depp, John Turturro, Maria Bello, Timothy Hutton, Charles S. Dutton, Len Curio, hopefully I said that name correctly, and a variety of other people. This, is, oh my gosh, this is probably one of those movies that, I, again, I would recommend, like, in a heartbeat for anybody to go and watch. To give you the basic premise of this particular film, at least the story, because it's actually will, really well written, and what do you expect? It's you know a story based off a Stephen King novel. But anyways, for those who have never read the book or have never read, uh, seen this movie, the basic premise is you have an individual who is a writer, who after, or at least while dealing with... If situations with his estranged wife who is or has been cheating on him um, is intruded or his property is intruded by an individual by the name of Shooter who harasses him as well as tries to uh, claim that the writer has stolen one of his stories while looking at his story realizing that his story or at least this Shooter character story as well as the writer's story is similar in every detail it's a race to try to figure out who actually plagiarized or plagiarized who um f while trying to you know uncover the truth and you know just you know figure out what it is going on people around the writer or at least johnny depp's character is dying left and right and the ending i will say will surprise a lot of people when it comes down to the situation um and I'm, I'm gonna say especially when it comes down to people who have never seen this movie and like and watch it you might see the subtle cues throughout the film as it progresses now i don't want to go into too much detail about the ending but it's a really good ending actually i think it, the, the the best line of the fil film is you know the the important part of the story is the ending so, characters themselves. Okay, I'm going to say, and I know this is probably a controversial, to some people, a controversial uh, topic. Um, but I'm going to say it. Johnny Depp playing a serious role is probably his best, like the, the best when he's acting. I enjoy him um, as this Mort Rainey character. Um, there's a variety of the other films that I've seen where he is very serious and he does a really good job. Um, I've, I will say that there are those few that are, you know, that are good, but at the same time, this serious individual who is, I want to say, secluded, kind of losing it, um, who doesn't like to be around people, um, one, I can kind of see as relatable, but two... Um, we really see what he's going through, especially with all the things that's happening. Um, John Turturro playing as Shooter. I don't, again, because I don't want to spoil too much of the film, for those who have never seen this, John Turturro playing as Shooter is so, he is so freaking menacing in this. Especially with every single moment that he pops up. It is such an interesting character. Um... I mean, you know, when it comes down to the events, again, no spoilers, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Maria Bello playing the cheating wife, or Amy Rainey, and Timothy Houghton playing the the man she cheated with. Um, they really played off as, you know, you know, people that you really dislike, but you kind of, like, wonder if, you know, by the end of the film if some of their uh actions should be you know if we should feel sorry for them if uh, either that or feel happy for what happens 
especially when it comes to the characters. Again, not spoiling it, <laughs> but anyways, um, we get a variety of other characters, the early actors, uh, Charles S. Dunton, who plays uh, Ken Karshek, hopefully I said that name correctly, who plays as uh, kind of um, an individual who helps Johnny Depp's character, and a variety of other people who um, are kind of side characters. By which, by the way, we don't have much interaction with these uh, particular characters. Um, briefly talking about the music, the music is brilliant and complex. Um, whoever composed it did a really good job, especially when it comes down to, I guess, I want to say both the introduction to the film, which is really nice, as well as the last scene in the film. Um, and by the way, I actually have, I have a little bit to talk about the last scene, but, um, just talking about the music right now, um, with, to some extent it's, and I say brilliant and complex because it's when it needs to be subtle, it, it's subtle. When it needs to ramp up the, the tone and ramp up the the, uh, the intensity, especially with you know very drastic moments and scenes that will horrify you, then it really ramps up, especially towards near the very end of the film, where things become um, crazy, to say the least. Now, going further, because um, we talked about characters, we talked about story, which I again I think is a brilliant story, um, and we've yeah talked about music. There's something I actually wanted to bring bring up since we uh, since I just kind of referenced the end credit scene or and not end credit scene but the last scene of the film. Now, if there's one thing that I can you know if, if there's one thing that I did not like, it was or at least to an extent half heartedly did not like, but at the same time didn't or did like was the introduction of a extended scene for the last scene of the film. Now, when it comes down to the ending, um, there is a reveal, or at least for the original ending anyway, for the original cut. Um, when it comes to, or at least comes down to some of the fates of some of our characters, it's left open-ended. But with the extended ending, we actually get an idea of what happens. Again, I don't want to go into too much, but... When it comes down to what happens to these characters, we see clear as day what happens. And I feel, if anything, if anything, I'm glad that they went with the shorter ending. Because it really just sets up, you know, what actually happened to, our, to these characters. Or at least the characters that have perished. <laughs> um, what happened? How did, how were their remains disposed of? And... The way that they kind of set it up, because everything just fades to black for the original cut, it is it it it, it, it kind of leaves to your imagination what happened, and I feel like showing more in this case does not help the film whatsoever. So, in that regard, I'm happy they had, or at least when it came down to the original cut, I'm happy that they stuck with the shorter ending. Now, final verdict, because, again, go watch this film. It, it is such a good film. I love the story. I love the characters. Or at least, you know, I think when it comes down to it, the um, the trials and tribulations that our main lead has to go through, as well as the shooter character, or persona, um, they're a lot of fun. The music is awesome. I really enjoy the music in this. Again, because it's 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 brilliant, complex. It knows when to to be calm and then knows when to ramp it up when things get exciting. With this, I think if anything, I'm gonna give this a. <laughs> I know I've been gushing. I I want it. I don't want to sound like I'm just giving it a ten out of ten. Um, 
I think if anything, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I know, I know, I should be getting back to doing ratings, but yeah, nine out of ten. I think what holds it back a little bit for me was the conclu was the inclusion of in some versions the extended ending which I don't think is necessary. So, with that, that was my thoughts of the movie Secret Window. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. If you guys can, uh, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below, as well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novcast signing off. Have a good one, and take care. Peace. Thank you.